If you're a manager, this is a game-changing way to build trust with your employees. It's about knowing the difference between LGI and MGI. These stand for least generous interpretation and most generous interpretation, and they come from Dr. Becky Kennedy. When something goes wrong with our employees or their performance, like say somebody is continually asking for extensions on their work and they're unable to deliver on time, it's always easiest to come up with an LGI, a least generous interpretation. That might sound like, I guess it doesn't matter to John whether or not he keeps his commitments. John is gonna be late again with his report. He must enjoy stressing me out. It's obvious John doesn't care and has totally checked out of this place. It takes some awareness to pause in these moments and check what kind of assumption you're making. That way, if you're making a least generous interpretation, you can make a conscious point to challenge it with a most generous interpretation. An MGI might sound like, huh, if John's asking for extensions, clearly he's being communicative and trying to get the work done, but struggling. Let me check in with him. Now that I think about it, John's been pulling longer hours and seems stressed too. He's clearly trying hard. We should take a look at his workload. It might be harder for John than some of my other employees to push back on my requests or to say too much. I need to remind him that's okay to do sometimes. In any relationship, there is so much we don't know about what the other person may be going through. When we bring some empathy and compassion, people will feel it, they'll remember you for it, and they'll appreciate it.